All right, what's going on, Grand Roots Outdoors? That's right, it's Aaron Morstead, and yep, this is part two to the G5 dead meat, okay? Now, they come with a practice tip. It's called a BMP, a ballistic match point. It's supposed to have the exact same angles and everything as the dead meat. We'll see. It's supposed to fly just like the dead meat does. And it's supposed to fly just like a fill point. So we shall see. I've always been curious about them. I've got a bunch of these getting ready to shoot them. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna spend a little money on this, but that's okay. It's for you guys and my own personal, you know, yeah. So let's see, let's do it. Let's have some fun. We'll shoot a couple. We'll shoot this first, then we'll shoot this. Not this, then this, because then that means arrows get really, really expensive. So. Stay tuned, here we go. And hopefully you guys can see it, but there's old Buckley down there. I didn't put his antlers on, but he's got a new insert. So here we go. We're gonna shoot a couple of, of the, the BMPs at it and we'll go from there. So here we go. Mmm, that flew good. All right, we'll shoot another BMP. All right, let's go check it out. So we're gonna take a walk here and see what we come up with. What I'm seeing is, is this thing is pretty stinking accurate. Oh man, that one went all the way through. Cool. Let's check it out. There the ear. Pretty stinking good. All right, the BMPs flew pretty stinking good. Now we're gonna shoot the dead meat and then the BMP, and we'll go from there. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna move you. We'll get us a side view here. There's my 20 marker. Oh, let me get my bow. Now, remember, I'm shooting a PSE Evo EVL. 60 pound max draw, which means it's 63 pounds and a 20, 28 inch draw length with a Victory Rip TKO with a 50 grain back cert, 100 grain broadhead. Here we go. Oh, wait, almost made a mistake. Gotta get the broadhead first, not the. There we go now. Now I'm gonna tell you, these things are freaking sharp right out of the box because I cut my finger a little bit, not enough to bleed, but they cut it. So here we go. All right, here we go. See what happens now with the BMP. Here we go. All right, let's go see. And I do have a GoPro down there too, so hang on. All right, y'all. So we're gonna take this walk. Uh-oh, um, okay, well, hopefully it's still there. <laughs> yeah, it's there. Hang on. Yeah, it's there.
All right, y'all. This one is the uh, TK, or the not the TK, but the G5 dead meat. And this is the practice tip. Let's go around. There you go, it fully open, as you guys can see. Not too bad. I'll take that. Right, we're gonna do it again. Dead meat. Which, by the way, that flew pretty stinking nice, I will have to say. Here we go. I shot that one a little high, but we'll shoot this one. I aimed the BMP at where the dead meat hit. So, here we go. Oh, gotta get my stuff here, hang on. All right, so I shot the BMP where I shot the dead meat because I did hit a little high and that was my fault. I think I may have rushed it a little bit, but anyway, hang in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's the dead meat and here's the BMP. Well, I'll tell you what, I aimed a little, or shot a little high with this. It was my fault, I pulled a little bit. So I aimed at the arrow with the BMP point, and I'm thinking that's pretty stinking good. So, anyway, and I am kind of trying to rush through this because it's freaking hot. So, hang in there. Forgot to show you. It's completely open, by the way. Not too bad for a low pound bow and a, and a dead meat. So, there you go. Completely. Here, I put my hand in front of it like all them other people do. There you go. All right, so what do y'all think about that dead meat from G5? Pretty cool. I'm in, I'm excited to see what it can do in the in the woods and uh, not you know I'm I'm very confident in what it can do. Um, I know there's been some reviews where it's said that they've lost blades and all that stuff, uh, but you know, bone plywood two different mediums they splinter differently yeah they're both hard but you don't you never know you really don't know until it happens and of course when you hit bone and all that stuff it's probably because uh you've got a plan b shot you you know because i don't know about y'all i'm human and my arrows don't always go where i intended them to go because you know personal issues you know or the deer decided it wanted to be a deer and move so anyway hopefully you guys like what you see if you like what you see hit your thumbs up if you like what you see and you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button and a little bell for notifications that way you get all our videos guys we're almost there we're at 915 subscribers uh 14 15 something like that um let's keep this ball rolling and let's see where we go with this and uh Y'all have a great, great, great day. Talk at you then.